Hello fam, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning from my bed with Colette. Hi baby. Sunday morning and we're wearing our matching PJs for Magnetic Me. That's the brand and I love it because it's made out of bamboo and they're super soft and they're great for nursing because it literally like opens everything, you know, like I literally just go like this feeder and super easy which like the breastfeeding has not been that easy <laughs> but I'll talk about that in another video so this video I wanted to really film and document because it is the last week of Colette's uh, life before she turns one month I can't believe she's gonna be one month it's gone by so quickly and it's been so beautiful like I love this little human so much. She's just a cutish. And yeah, I wanted to really document it for me. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna share this with my YouTube fam too. So we're at home. Um, it's gonna be Christmas next week and my parents are coming. My brother and my sister are coming. Ever since her birth, we've been here. I always made it an intention that I wanted to really take the first 40 days or the first six weeks after her birth to just be here at home and go into my little bubble with her and you know everything's so new for me for her we're getting to know each other she's learning things I've just been focused on healing and on just establishing our relationship you know like establishing breastfeeding sleeping you know she's growing so much like the first weeks she was eating like every two three hours so it just requires a lot of focus and attention and I really wanted to just focus on that. So we haven't been like anywhere. We haven't even been obviously to know like holiday parties or like out or anything. I drove for the first time yesterday. I went to UPS and then I went to go get a latte and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like out. <laughs> and I left her at home um, with Dorian and also Teresita. If you've been following me for a long time, you know Teresita. She um, was my nanny for 24 years. She was with my parents um, in San Diego, and now she's here with me. She's been helping me out ever since Colette was born, and it's been a true blessing. So um, she's making some oatmeal for me, which is so sweet, and I'm so excited because it's warm and it's Kind of cold today like it's sunny but it's cold and something that i've really loved is and i've appreciated so much and it's been like wow an overwhelmed feeling of love is the community here in austin is just wow like amazing one of my friends she created this meal train for me so basically what the meal train is is that people sign up for the meal train and they pick a date so every tuesday and thursday i've had friends come over and drop off Food, which has been wow like amazing people have been visiting me I have you know my friends have been um, people constantly asking me messaging me every single week like do you need something can we drop something off like at one point I had to I had to, I needed some things from the grocery store and a friend like went to the grocery store for me and got me a bunch of like everything that I needed like just Everyone goes really above and beyond for the new mom and I'm so grateful for it and I can't wait to show, you know, my love back. I've even had a friend like drive like over an hour to like come drop off food for me. Like that was just, oh my gosh, everything, everything, everything. So that's been one thing that we've loved about living here in Austin. The community here, the people that we've met here are just all right, I, I have to go, you guys, but um, shout out to the Austin community. I love you guys so much, and I'll be back. <laughs> She was sleeping, but just woke up a little bit ago. We're sleeping alone tonight. Dorian is upstairs in the guest bedroom because he was feeling a little bit sick. So we decided it was better if he just slept upstairs. And her and I are sleeping alone tonight here in the room. And today she was literally feeding like all day. Um, she just turned three weeks a couple days ago. So I know that the babies, when they turn three weeks, they're, they go through like this growth spurt. And she, she, so today, the whole day, she literally wanted to eat like all day. 
um, I was filming a Instagram reel recipe and it took me like three hours because I would like go feed her and then she would fall asleep for like 20, 30 minutes. So I would go back, feed her again. And it was just like that the whole day. Um, but I did it finally. Now I have to edit it, but that will be easier because when I'm like breastfeeding her, I can actually like sometimes be on my phone. I try not to because I just want to, I want to just be present for every single moment of this time. I'm so happy. I just, I love her so much. Like I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with her <laughs> and she's starting to smile which is the cutest thing she wants to be held and it's, that's so normal for babies i mean they were inside of us for nine months obviously they want to be close to us especially like the first days and i don't think i really realized this and i'm starting to realize it now that i'm like establishing breastfeeding more that they why they love to be like close to the breast because it's like skin to skin and it's just so warm for them and it's comforting and it's food and it's everything so it's so important to just let them be you know like let them have that i'm learning a ton i feel like i really educated myself on like labor and birth during pregnancy but not so much about like what happens afterwards so I'm learning more. I'm grateful that I've had help here um, to cook me food, to clean so that I don't have to do that and I can just focus on her. And um, even today, like that I filmed the reel for Instagram, which is like I'm partnering with a brand. So it was like for work, but it felt like, like I missed her. It was so, <laughs> I know it sounds so weird because it's like, like she was right there, but I miss like, we're literally like this the whole day. And having had to like go and like not be close to her was like, oh my gosh, I missed her. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, she's only three weeks old. She's a little tiny human. So yeah, just learning. And I feel like that's part of it too, right? Like you learn as you go a lot of the times and I'm trying to educate myself and it's just so much but at the same time i think just like following my gut and intuition is like the best thing i can do anyways just wanted to share that and we're gonna try to get some sleep <laughs> but i'll see you guys soon good morning fam good morning good morning i'm here sitting on the floor colette is eating or finishing eating she's like almost asleep there's my tree. There's the, these flowers that my friend Rebecca got me. Thank you, Rebecca. So cute. And I just finished having breakfast. I had two eggs, sourdough bread, and avocado. And then I had oatmeal earlier. And now I'm having my cup of coffee. Mm. My cup of coffee brings me so much joy in the morning. Like, oh, and I'm good with one. You know, like obviously I could drink more than one cup of coffee, but I don't because then, you know, it doesn't help me with my sleep. That one cup of coffee brings me so much happiness and so much joy. And I'm also having some oatmeal lactation cookies that turned out so good. And I want to film a reel for it on my Instagram. Mm. I posted a story on Instagram, like telling you like, hey, I made these cookies and stuff or like sharing about it. And then I received a lot of messages from you guys saying like, oh, that doesn't work. Like that's all myths. The only thing that works to produce more milk is to feed your baby more, like get, get your baby to the boob. And yes, I agree. But I mean, I wanted to bake anyways and I wanted to make cookies anyways. So I'm already gonna eat cookies. Like might as well put ingredients in there that can help with milk production, right? So it actually turned out really good and they're gluten-free today. Um, I have to turn in, <laughs> when I say turn in, I feel like homework. I have to turn in two reels for a brand collab that I'm doing. I'm working with Light Life, which I'm really excited about. And um, I'm gonna, I have to finish editing the videos and I also have to film a part of one of the videos. So eventually I have to get ready. Another goal of mine is to go on a walk with Colette. Um, we've been taking like 30, 40 minute walks every day. Not every day, every other day. Today we did it again. 
Like some days I just don't take a walk because I, I, I don't have time. I know, I'm so busy, I don't do anything. I'm here all day, but <laughs> this is like a full-time job. And also, I think the fact that I'm a first-time mom and I'm getting like used to everything, like this is all new to me, everything just takes me more time. So yeah, that's my day today. I'm gonna finish eating my cookies, um, or my cookie, I already, I already had one, this is my second one. <laughs> I like literally brought the whole Tupperware with me. And this is what my days look like lately. Wake up, feed her, I get breakfast um, in bed. Today, Dorian made me oatmeal every day. Every morning I eat oatmeal in bed. And then after that, I get up, I have my second round of breakfast, which is usually like more protein, so eggs. And then she usually wants to eat again. So then I feed her and then she will eventually take a nap and then I'm able to like take a shower or we can go on a walk while she's napping. That's what my days look like lately. But anyways, I'm gonna start um, working and finish my coffee. I thought she had taken a nap, but no, <laughs> she's up. She's been wanting to be on my boob like all day the past few days. I think it's a growth spurt. Her little faces. <laughs> Are you gonna let me take a shower? Yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. So if she's awake, and I try to put her like in the snuggle me or in the crib or in her bassinet, she will start crying like so much. She doesn't like being like alone unless she's, but if she's like super like asleep, then I can put her there. So right now she's awake and she's chill because she's right here. You're chilling, right? You're chilling. <laughs> Okay, um, this, I'm here again. <laughs> I'm back in bed. <laughs> and she's literally been wanting to be on me like all the time. Um, so right now I'm doing mixed breastfeeding. So I'm breastfeeding her and then I'm also supplementing. I'm supplementing with milk from a few friends that donated um, breast milk to me, which is so amazing. But long story short, I'm not producing enough milk to meet her needs, but I am producing more milk. Like every week I produce more. I'm seeing a lactation consultant and maybe I can do another video. If you guys want it, let me know in the comments below. I can do another video of like my whole breastfeeding journey because it's a lot to cover in this vlog. But basically right now she's eating around two thirds from my milk from what I from what she breastfeeds and what I pump and then I give her in a bottle and then around one third from donated breast milk. But you know, there's some days like today where you know I fed her, breastfed her, I bottle fed her and she's still like, you know, just wants to be on me. And at the beginning, you know, the first weeks I thought like, oh my gosh, something's wrong. Like I always thought automatically, like, she's not sleeping. Like she must be hungry, she must be hungry. And no, now I know that the breasts are like having that skin to skin with me is like necessary for her. She needs that. She needs that to feel safe. She needs that to feel secure. She's three weeks old. She's a little tiny human. She was inside me for nine months. So obviously she wants to feel that. And like, we know that babies need that touch. They need that contact constantly. But I do want to get some things done today. So I'm going to try to just wear her on me she she tends to like that too that way i can like do stuff around the house but she still feels like she's on me but right now i need to change her because she just went to the bathroom so i need to change the diaper ya es 26 de diciembre ya pasó navidad no grabé nada pero <laughs> les quiero enseñar quién está aquí Hola. jackie mm -hmm. y mi papá la tía de colette mi papá Hola. y mi hermano está por ahí dormido y la abuelita aquí, Hola. dándole de comer a Colette. Colette, hermosa, oh. dile. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. <risa> Muchas ocupa? gracias a todas las personas que estuvieron orando por Giovanita y que estuvieron preocupados, preocupadas por ella, por gracias. nosotros. Muchas gracias a todos. Paseo al patio. <risa> oh. Ay, Colette. Ah. Es que no le gusta estar en la carrera. ¿no? Oh, it does not like the stroller. 
so my mom had to pick her up and carry her and I'm just pushing it. <laughs> hey guys, another day here. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but I'm doing this in Mexico is very uh, common to do la cuarentena, that's what you call it. And it's basically the first 40 days after you give birth, you just kind of like stay home, you rest a lot. I mean, back in, or not back in the day, but if, like in many places in Mexico that still practice it. Like if you're practicing it to the T, like you're literally in bed for most of the time of the first 40 days. You don't even take showers for like the first week, I think. I don't know, it's like, I haven't done it like that intensely, but I've, I have been home like the whole time. Um, and I started going on walks until like day, I don't know, until like two weeks into it, like after giving birth, like I didn't even start walking right away. So, but it's been so nice to just take a chill. Like I'm, I'm starting to think about when am I gonna start working out? <laughs> like I haven't even thought of that. I haven't worked out at all. I mean, my biggest workout has been walking and I guess breastfeeding burns a lot of calories, right? <laughs> and then I wanna do another video where I show you guys of like a little bit of my like transformation or like not transformation, but like how my body has evolved after having the baby, which is kind of sad because I honestly do miss my belly. My mom is by back there, by the way. Um, she's been staying here since Christmas. So yeah, but also just carrying her all day burns a lot of calories too, right? Honestly, I'm not even like, I don't I don't even know why I'm saying like burning calories. Like I don't even really think about that, but um, it is it is like a workout though. It is like a workout, just like carrying her and stuff all the time. So I wanna show you guys this shirt that's so cool. It has a little zipper right here and it's made for breastfeeding. So you just, you know, instead of like lifting it up, you just like open up the zipper, pop it. Um, the brand is called Artie Pop. And it's so comfortable, seriously, super, super, super comfortable. I have another one, like this Mexican one, that's like, you know, it's, I think you guys have seen it. You've seen it on Instagram. I love that one too. And I think she, she seems to stay here longer, like sleeping. And then the other one, I just have to be a little bit careful because it's like a uh, fabric. So I have to be like making it tight. Now she's a month old. So at the beginning, I only used the other one. And I think that one's better for like really tiny babies. Now that she's a little bit bigger, I feel like I can use this one. But this one, I wouldn't have been able to use like right when she was born. And then I have these bracelets. That one says Colette and then that one says Madre, which is mom in Spanish. Anyways, I have to um, pump some milk and I'm finally gonna start uploading content for some of my YouTube videos because I'm coming back, yay! <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys later. She's growing out of all her newborn clothes. It's so, oh my gosh, look at that. You used to fit her like, Literally a week ago it fit, uh -huh. and now it doesn't. Bittersweet, bittersweet. I know, and I love it. I love it for some reason. It's so cute. Colette, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, those eyes. Those eyes, my love. Uh -huh. See? Hey fam, so that was Colette's first month of life. Today she turned three months, so I filmed that video quite some time ago, but honestly, I'm so glad that I documented it because now I can go back to it and relive that moment. Seriously, time goes by so, so fast. And thinking about those early weeks is just so special. And, um, and I'm happy that I was able to share it with you guys too. So I was gonna actually gonna put on some makeup and do my hair to say goodbye to this video, but I haven't had time. And this is my reality. This is how I look. And um, yeah, we're still enjoying the newborn bliss. Um, and that is it. I send you guys a big hug, lots of love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.